Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, what's that coming over the Himalayas? <laughs> I, I think it's them boys. Way. It's another episode of the Physics Better Group, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag TBSG. Word. What it do, fellas? They are uh, greetings, as they say. Uh, as you can see, we're doing a bit of our throwback Thursday back in one of our old locations recording. Word. And Tajara Studios. Yeah, Tajara Studios. Studios. But we'll be back in the original location next week. Don't worry. Right. Who knows where we'll be, actually. It feels like it's a traveling yeah. podcast. It could be on the roof of the Dolphin Stadium. Who knows? The Brotherhood could be. of the Traveling Podcast. Word. <laughs> AKA. Word. But we, before we go any further, they need to know who we are. This, this is true. What's they your? call me dramatic. And as you can see, the beard isn't fully back, but I'm still skip beardless. <laughs> but soon I will be, oh, maybe you, make beard you got again. Sub. <laughs> you, you skip beard some. <laughs> skip, <laughs> skip peach fuzz. Where? <laughs> Where? Peach five o'clock shadow. You know, but as you can see, old. mine is gone for the time being. Oh, shit. I yeah. knew something was different. Yeah. <laughs> I should have noticed when you ain't had no upper lip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But when he had too much upper lip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why your lip so long? How your lip just transition to your teeth? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hilarious. This, this is... This is Flocka Zulu, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> Sir Black Style the Third, a.k.a. Nigga Long Lips. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week, everyone. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's an episode. That's a fucking wrap. Wow. <laughs> this nigga said, Nigga Long Lips. <laughs> it's uh, over for you. Uh, with that, I'm just going to stop talking. Who's that to my <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, not that nigga. Mm-hmm. Um, it's your boy. I seen black dynamite. I just combined the two. Mm-hmm. AKA Lazy. Fluffy Jumps. AKA Shut the fuck up before I fuck you up, nigga. Oh, what was that nah. word before that? Fluffy Jumps. Fluffy, Fluffy Jumps. Jumps. It sounds like a we gonna see a, a, a video game on a cell phone. It sounds like a whole lot of excitement and mm. fun <laughs> and Jumps. wonder. Fluffy. Which is what Black Dynamite, aka Swiss Army nigga is. So AKA Fluffy Jumps. <laughs> AKA Fluffy Jumps. <laughs> Fluffy jumps. And she to my right. It's your boy David Bomay, a.k.a. Devo Wapike, a.k.a. <laughs> Sirac Obama 23, a.k.a. Here's the new one for that ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> Black Yoshi in the building. Hey. Black Yoshi. <laughs> Yo, hold on. I, I cannot laugh every time I hear uh, Debo For real. Right. Yeah, no, Debo yeah. Wapike. That might be the greatest name ever. Yeah. I, I think low so. Key, low key. I, I just might agree with that. But yeah, um, speaking, <laughs> speaking of Yoshi, mm-hmm. Black Yoshi, where'd you get that name from? <laughs> um, you know, Sir Sir Black Stallion. I, no, it wasn't Black Stallion. It was Sir Shabby actually came through with the Nintendo Switch. 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 <laughs> there we go. So Yo, uh, the pre-show we were. The we were <laughs> I was handing out ass whoopings in Mario Kart before the show started. Oh, see, hey, w- whether. Whether <laughs> 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 How we, go, we went through all this trouble of setting up, and then as soon as we press play, what? <laughs> no, because I don't want to ruin the podcast position. back here, like I'm depressed or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like you're saying, like PSA, that Nintendo Switch is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's it's just so. I don't know. It's just so fun. That's the only way to explain it. It's just... You know what's crazy, too? Like, video games, just looking at the Switch, mm-hmm. video games have come a long-ass way from fucking Very, Pong very long. Or whatever yeah. was that first game, yo. Word. Uh, wh- it's not Atari? Nah, it it Atari was probably the first popular. popular oh, okay. It was a, it was there a, were other little games. It, it was the first, like, home video game. Okay. Ah, yeah, it, was right. home, it was the first right. home system, and Pong was, like, the first big game on Atari. Okay. But um, I, I think that was a little bit, a little bit before our time. But we're still like the first generation of of gamers, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, basically, yeah. Atari came out with it, uh, like eighties. Eighties. That was the eighties thing, from what I remember. If mm. not late seventies, but I think it was like eighties. Could have been both. Because <laughs> Nintendo came out like right after. Like shortly. I thought after. Nintendo came out in the like the late eighties. It was like early to mid eighties. I mean, now we got double check. Uh, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> question: What was everyone's first system? Um, uh, and the, the original Nintendo. Mm, NES. NES, yeah. Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, did yeah, it was a Nintendo, and then I got a Game Boy. Yeah, my first was a Game Boy. Uh, my handle and handheld first. Word. 
My cousin had a Game Boy. And I used to like take that junk and play Pac Man all the time. Yeah. Like, you know, I was never a big fan of Pac Man. Like, really? I don't know. Like, I would play it. I was like, oh, it's Pac Man. Let me play it for like two rounds <laughs> and then say, fuck this shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not. Like, it's a classic, obviously. It's, it's an OG. It's mm-hmm. revered as one of the most original games ever. But. I just never understood the, the hype about it. I feel you know it. what I'm saying? Like, it's like I'd rather play Tetris than Pac-Man. I Word. love me some Tetris. Same <laughs> thing, same thing. Yo, I had Tetris on the first Game Boy with the green screen. Oh, wow. Fun fact, my cousin gave me that. I ain't had to drop a dime on that. Nice. Shout out, cousin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out my, my auntie because she made him give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Use it for like five years. That's man. fucked oh, up. Oh, snap. <laughs> um, speak, I rem- speaking I rem- of cousins and Pac-Man, I actually have a memory of watching my cousin beat Pac-Man. On what? Game Boy, and like, I've never seen beat someone beat Yeah, shout, yeah, shout out, to, shout out to Johnny. Like he literally, and it was like, Live. and back then it was a thing to beat a video game. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. be, not a lot of people actually you played. Save. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't yeah. save it mm-hmm. or anything. So not a lot of people actually went through and played a game to its completion. Yeah, and then they were like, we spent a whole afternoon. Like I ain't played. I just watched it. Like and I was fully entertained. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I agree with you. It, um, I remember the first. Uh, System we got was Sega, mm. okay. Sega Genesis. You got the and big boy system. Yeah, <laughs> and um, the game we used to run through, like you said, we used to beat it in a day, like just to see you can beat it the quickest time. Streets of Rage, tr- um, two. Oh wow. wow, Streets of Rage two. That is, nice. oh Streets top of Rage five okay. ten okay. game for me personally, that though. I can I can probably beat it before midnight if I was to start playing it right now. <laughs> no, I guarantee I beat it before midnight. <laughs> Not I don't think. Because it's 7 I mean, o'clock. What, you know what got like what, two buttons in that game, right? Yeah, but it's combinations. You know, you right. do their special. If you do too much of their special, they start losing power. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. Didn't mm. they bring <laughs> back out Streets of Rage years later? Probably. I know it's on my like PS3. I, I put it on my PS3. Yeah, so. I think they did bring it back out. or They did They did certain things like that. Um, It's cool when they bring, like, retro games out and put yeah. a low on like every the, the, the newer yeah. systems. Or yeah. Like yeah. Like the they just... Like they did for NBA Jam. NBA Jam, yeah. they just yeah. released the um, first Super Mario on the Switch. Now it's in the eShop. I mean, what? It's not. It's like eight bucks in the eShop for what? Super Mario Bros. But that's pretty cool. You got to fuck up eight dollars. Nah, man. For real. I, <laughs> you know, I sat there pennies. for about five minutes, almost hitting the A button. <laughs> yeah, but then I backed out. I but it's eight bucks though. Yeah, seven ninety nine. Oh, ain't bad. I know, for the not bad at all. The game. Oh, I did get. I get that in a, in a second. You can save it. Mm. Oh man, that's it. <laughs> that's co- like that probably makes the difference, all the difference in the world. You couldn't save, yeah, Super back Mario then, back yeah. Then. or like, Sonic. I still or I, Sonic. <laughs> certain games. I still have the desire to go back and beat them. Mm. Super Mario World Three, man. Yeah, like just play play that as an adult when Bruh. you when you with all with, with the, you ever go back and play a game and you're like, man, like it's. You understand it so much better now that you're like yeah. grown yes. mm-hmm. and like you're able to make better decisions. You're not just you're running around aimlessly, yeah, or yeah. jumping on random shit. A, a big game like <laughs> uh, a game that was really um, big on that was uh, Perfect Dark. I never played uh, it. N sixty four. That was mm-hmm. the first game where you had to buy something extra. Oh, that expansion. The pack expansion too. pack oh. because me and my brother would beat as far as we got. Mm-hmm. And we kept being like, how do we go forward? And we asked the guy at GameStop, we did expansion pack. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is the expansion pack? Zelda, <laughs> Zelda had that too, no? I, I didn't. I was not a big fan of Zelda either. A few games I for the N64 had that. Like, yeah. you had to buy that other pack to unlock half of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's but I know crazy. The people who actually did spend their money on mm-hmm. that or get their parents to spend the money on it, they were like, oh, it's crazy. Like, yeah. there's so much more. Yeah, that you, you don't know. understand. And I'd just be like, ah, I'm going to just put that. A little cover back on my ends <laughs> <laughs> because I like it. <laughs> Not that always my time. <laughs> exactly. On, on some extra nerd shit, I used to be on um on Starcraft. Oh wow, on Warcraft really back on in it. the day. Yeah. Wow. But I, I I was on it before like they made it like an online game. Oh okay okay. Where like people used to meet up, like there wow. there'd be the <laughs> no there's some nerd shit for real. There'd be like <laughs> these um these game shops. Um, they used to have one in um, Kingston called the Zone, mm-hmm. and um, where you go, and there'll be like a line of computers, and then they'll have like a section of a few consoles. So people will be on the computers either playing Counter Strike, or they'll play Warcraft or Starcraft. And this wow. is in Jamaica. Yeah. Word. Wow. Okay. You know, th- like a lot of, like there's a big like, 
nerd culture in Jamaica. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like a lot of them, you know, a lot. There's a lot of Jamaicans who are into like the anime and just like video games. And I know so. a dude that's in that from and lives in Jamaica still who's very into anime, and that's like that's his shit. Word. He like likes to chill and watch anime. <laughs> yeah. Word. Well, that shows you know it it knows no bounds. It's not just for any culture. Mm. Sorry, it is just for any culture. It's not just for one culture. That's what I'm gonna say. Word. Exactly. <laughs> I remember those games being so intense because like strategy, like oh, you make a bad oh, yeah. move and all of a sudden like <laughs> your your whole base being overrun and you can't <laughs> oh, you can't do nothing but watch. Forget that. You talk <laughs> about intense is strategy. I don't know why I loved it on this game from such a young age. Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, like, you was yeah. always you were bro. Always Metal Gear Solid. That. I remember first of all, the case was mysterious. Mm. <laughs> it was um, it was a double disc and it was all white. It just said Metal Gear Solid Tactical Espionage Action. Mm. I'm like, what is? I don't know what kind of <laughs> game it was. It was so mysterious. Right. And I watched my brother play it one summer. He beat it. I was like, this is the that greatest game ever. That was PS One. Yeah, dog. That shit was so innovative. You was yeah. doing shit. Hiding you were wishing you could do it all of, <laughs> of other video games. Right. I remember the first one. I forgot what boss it was, but he was on the back of a car shooting, like b- before yeah. Grand Theft Auto and all that shit. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm telling you. Wow. Yeah. I was, everyone <laughs> talked. I didn't. Ha- you know, everyone talked about uh, Metal Gear back in the day, and I remember every everyone who had a PS One had mm-hmm. that game. Dog. At least that I knew. Yeah, that's one of the greatest franchises ever. Word. <laughs> what? Are, what are y'all favorite types of games? Sports. Sports. Oh my God. Sports. Sports. Yeah. yeah. Sports and games like sports fighting games and games like Metal Gear Solid. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I love action adventure games. Like, um, yeah, mostly action adventure, like the Uncharted series. The new Tomb Raiders are, are dope. The mm-hmm. last few that they made. The new Tomb Raiders? Yeah. Oh, bro. Where There's new Tomb they're Raiders? Raiders. They look wicked, yeah. 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 New Tomb Raiders? Yeah, they, <laughs> yo, they came back like, sorry, Uncharted. We need to show y'all. <laughs> Dramatic. I look at this watch <laughs> real quick. So, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to check the calendar. Right. Right. And they're right. good. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They tried to, like, there was a reboot that they did before that flopped. PS3. But, PS3? well, I don't Probably. remember. Yeah. But then the new one, it's it's pretty official. Word. Um, I'd probably say sports games. I like a good shooter here and there. Mm. Maybe, yeah, a good strategy game. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, sports mm-hmm. games never, like, there's never. I, FIFA, Madden. Word. Yeah. Like, those games are on the, on the regular. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Depends on who's making, which franchise is making the best game you know, at the time. I, what sport game I never really, I never really took to any of the NBA 2Ks or any of the, any oh, of the neither. serious basketball games, I never really yeah. took to oh, that wow. one. Mm. But I was the man of NBA Jam. Though. NBA Jam, yeah, come holler at your boy. Yeah, or NBA you know Street. Like, oh, NBA, like, remember NFL man. Street? Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. NFL Street. By the way, <laughs> rumor, they say NBA Street 2018. It's going to get rebooted, yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, That's Ooh. what they're saying. Y'all well, don't come rumors have been spreading. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but that, no, the, the way games have evolved, the new, I mean, I, not the new 2K. I, I'm still on 2K17, but, you know, if I ain't beat it, I ain't buying another one. True. That. And, and, like, the way they make story modes these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. or, sing, or let me just say the one-player experience. You know, the mm-hmm. single-player experience has evolved so much. You get the story, you get immersed, whether it's an action adventure game, but it's interesting how they've incorporated film like scenes mm-hmm. in NBA 2K, mm-hmm. where like as you create your character, you get drafted as a high school student. I mean, as a freshman in college, and it's a story. It goes along with the game. Even they have little tidbits but as you walking out of the locker room. Mm-hmm. You like say what's up to the security. You cool with it's mm. weird, man. But it's very. <laughs> said it's weird. Yeah, yeah. And Michael B. Jordan is a character. He becomes a best friend and all this stuff. So it's man. Okay. They they've come up with so many ways to keep you in the <laughs> crib. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's so exactly good. what it is. Mm. It's Illuminati. They don't oh want God. us to know what they're doing <laughs> yeah. outside, so they keep us inside, inside. so we can't see what's going on. Don't want to look at so, the trail. Hey, right, so, that, so, that, <laughs> so, that, so that brings up the question, that poses a question then. Um, can you grow out of video games, or is it something that you find value in? I believe you can grow out of, like, the constant habit of playing them. Mm. But if you just, you know, lawyers... Doctors, whoever, whoever out there, everyone has their vices. You know what I'm saying? It could just be a vice. Let's put it like that. Like, 
I, I wouldn't even call it a, a vice. Yeah, vice. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a strong word. word. That's a strong word. It's like a hobby. Man. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's a, that's a much better word. Call it a hobby. People spend their time drinking, smoking, having sex, this, that. You just have that. You could, you know, yeah. what I'm it's not only. So it's not only you're that. You're not though. cool enough to be out there drinking, yeah, smoking, yeah. or having sex. Who said like, that was cool? <laughs> yo, yeah, yeah. Why is that? Like, cause, why is that considered cool? In video it's games, social not considered interaction. Cool. That's why. That's social interaction. You playing Call of Duty with Asian kids from nobody. across? The, no, yes, you are. I'm trying to argue this way. <laughs> I'm just trying to make the point. I'm just trying to make the point that I don't think it should be demonized and all that. Mm. You know okay. what I'm saying? Just some I do. Neither Fuck I, you. Honestly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hurt that he would. Right. Now, if I spend days and hours, I can't move till I beat this. Mm. Obviously, that's an issue. Right. But I don't care how, how old you are. You can just play it. Have, I mm. remember playing. You remember Tetris Attack? Yeah. I don't know if you remember. Oh, wow. I guarantee you, my father played that game more than anyone in the house. <laughs> <laughs> he would play against me, my that's sister, my brother. And like that was, it's, it's crazy. Like It doesn't matter. Like, but he didn't play any other video game, though. He just saw us playing that, and Tetris he likes Tetris. Tetris. He's yeah. like, oh, this is cool. And he fell in love with it. Mm. That's cool. But he'll spend Amazing. his days playing. You know what I'm saying? Just something exactly. you do. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Honestly, at this point, it's more just to kill time. Or like, if I got 45 minutes in between one thing or another thing, boom, I'm going to yeah. sit down and play a game. Exactly. Yeah, it's not really on the forefront of my mind now. Keep in mind, we did grow up. And we yeah. really saw the the advancement, you know what I mean, of video games. So, and it, and it was a big part of our childhood and our upbringing, honestly. Mm-hmm. So I mean, so it, it it's rather, it's not far fetched for someone to not let go of it that easily, or to still come back to video games or still have some kind of interaction with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, personally, I I enjoy it. Is a it is sort of a pastime for me. You know, it's it's enjoyable. It's like. Not only is it immersive and, you know, the, the graphics pretty incredible these days, but just the idea of going through a world that you don't have to, I guess, exit the house for or solve, yeah. mm-hmm. solve things. You know, you get adrenaline rushes from playing video games. You release endorphins from playing video games, you know, from uh, solving or, uh, you know, getting through a level um, or passing a stage. So, I mean, for me personally... Yeah, like if if I do have a little free time, yeah, I'm gonna play some games. Boom. <laughs> Word. What's that? I, I think, <laughs> I think, um, I think I might be the biggest gamer. Either me or Shabby. Probably yeah. Nah, probably it's me. Paul. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely the biggest gamer <laughs> here, and um, I just see it as um, <laughs> I just see it as, cause it's like, I view it the same way as like, especially nowadays, as like watching a movie. Or even reading a book. Or maybe a TV series. Oh Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, because I don't really spend a lot of time watching like ca- cable or television like that. Like I'd rather play video games than do that. Or I'd rather watch a movie than do that. Or watch a show mm-hmm. specifically, you know? Mm-hmm. But um, I feel like it, it's, it keeps you, it's a cool way to, because you could always watch a movie and shut your brain off. Yeah. Or watch a TV show and shut your brain off. When you play video games, it kind of, it exercises your mind, you know what I'm saying? You have to think and, like, I couldn't tell you how many times, like, I'm playing a video game and I have pen and paper out, you no. know, jot notes or, like, you know, That's trying, to fi- trying to figure out something within the video game, or, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Even, even with FIFA, I'd be, like, in the season, shit, like, uh-huh. I'd be, like, all right, I'm, I'm going to look out for this player, I'm going to send my scout out, like, <laughs> get, it gets, like, immersive and stuff where you got to think about shit. I love it. Huh, that's what's up. Definitely. That's what's up. You mentioned but um uh, before you go, my bad. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned uh, so yeah, sitting and watching TV or watching a movie is pretty passive. Mm. And even like, w- it's funny because like with video games, games even the most passive form of playing a video game, you're still exercising like a shit ton, a, a high amount of hand eye coordination. Yeah, you know tons. I mean? yeah. tons. Like yeah, your mind is still constantly moving and whatnot. So that's, true. that's I mean yeah, my it's relaxation, but. I don't know. That's, I, I don't know if people have thought of it as a different way to exercise your mind or exercise a different part of your mind, mm-hmm. along with relaxation. So that's interesting. You said that. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely exercises your critical thinking and problem solving skills because you have to like sort of think outside the box, or else you're just not gonna get past certain stages in certain games. Word. Sure. I've put games down for months, a year, two years, mm. and then <laughs> come yeah. back and then realize like, oh, Word, yeah. Why Word. Think about this? 
Where like some people put down video games as childish. I'm like, yo, there's some video games you're not smart enough to beat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That childish it's not really too. childish. And just uh, um, since we talk about like it being childish and and whatever, I feel like people think about that, think of it that way, right? Because of how it, you know this is kind of like again uh, the first generation of mm-hmm. you know having video games because before mm-hmm. when we were kids you know video games came out for kids but as they evolved i feel like they kept making video games for the same group of people mm-hmm. yeah that that's very true it, it's where yeah. they release a that's, yeah mm. that's the main happy. audience got older yeah. so they yeah. had to keep on yeah because i'm looking around them. i'm looking around and like there's always like an issue of like underage kids buying like mature games, mm-hmm. but I, you can't really blame them. The best games are like those games. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the best games are M rated, and uh, it's like. Unless it's Super uh, Mario. Word. <laughs> and shout out to one game, but I, I don't know if you consider it a video game because it's on a cell phone. Pokemon Go. Yeah, we we never really game. sit back and appreciate how. That's a, Awesome Pokemon yeah. Go is though like they're right there, bro. You, you yeah. See that. Oh yeah. Is that we somewhat VR. We, no, it's augmented reality. Augmented, augmented yeah, reality. Yeah. 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 We got so, swept up in mm-hmm. that wave heavy with one time, mm-hmm. yeah. but it was cool. Like yeah. we, we interacted with people. You go to the parks. People are like running around looking for Pokemon. Yeah. Hell yeah. Go yeah. down to city hall. Go catch a couple. You know. Yeah. Go to the gym. <laughs> exactly. Go to the gym. <laughs> go pick up some Pokemon. You know make what sure spots you, they at. Make Everybody. sure you Pokemon not a bitch. You know, get a little <laughs> fights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was even more interesting about it is going to these places and seeing everyone else every there. type of person and, though and and not only that everyone sort of just knew what was going on yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly nobody's like what is he doing the, yeah. the <laughs> but instead of like instead of you're like what is he doing he's like is that a charizard is that yeah. what yeah. you find over i there? heard oh, i just caught okay I just there's caught a snorlax it. over there oh, snap. Uh, Evie, i remember one of the there. earliest nights we went out there to um the the pines the the 9 11 memorial uh-huh. in right. Pines. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I said, I said, yo, oh. like, we was out there for five minutes and niggas started hauling ass in one direction. <laughs> I thought somebody pulled fire or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, and I, I like, people were running by. And Spice said, What are y'all doing? He said, It's a Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you, the funny thing, you see memes about it, but it actually it happened. happened. And it I was like, Holy point shit. 140s, bro. <laughs> no, <Dog>, this <laughs> flash. <laughs> that emo kid that you didn't think was athletic. <laughs> Came out in proper stride. Oh, they'd be on skateboards too? Genius. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking genius. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's how you hatch your eggs. Yeah. Oh, genius. Oh, dude out there on those hoverboards. The mechanical yeah. hoverboards. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking I, I genius. I saw someone on rollerblades. Yep. <laughs> like, that they too. just were not playing out there. Yeah. Right. But, mm-hmm. hey, I mean, needless to say, games have changed. It's changed our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can't picture my life without video games at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't want I to. Mean, as <laughs> yeah. an adult and, and features like multitasking and rest mode, thank you. Guys. Oh my God, it's perfect. That's, that goes back to your so point. They're making it for the same type of We were playing as a kid, like, I wish it. Here it is. Word. <laughs> Yo, just, let, just about three hours ago, I showed dramatic rest mode on the PS4 for the first time. Yeah, I didn't he, know. It blew his mind. I don't yeah. own a PS4. I turned the TV yet. on and I was back to play another game of 2K. And he was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa what? Word. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, we, you had to worry about the fan overheating. <laughs> And then, oh my God. <laughs> and then if you have a memory card, you had to keep your TV oh on. God. No, no, just plug out the red, blue, and green. Don't plug out the power. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can plug in whatever the fuck you want to plug in. That's crazy, man. <laughs> no, it, well, when I got the PS3, actually, remember I told you I won it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Back to the future. That, that, um, that really got me back into video games heavy. Because <laughs> my brother had a PS3, but he moved out. So there's no video games <laughs> in the crib. And then once I won that shit, uh, the last video game I beat, I can't off remember Twitter. it. Off damn Twitter. Shout out Nas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the last video game I beat, I forgot. All right. In the video game, like at the end, you have to choose. You want to be evil. You want to be good. And the ending changed. The ending changed. If, there you go. Thank oh, you. That that's the last video game so I beat. Cool. And I was good. Yeah. I didn't oh choose the God. evil path. But that's the last video game I actually sat down. Oh shit! It's over. <laughs> that's, that's another thing in in video games. There's like a, a wider vi- spectrum of like moral decisions and like yeah, moral yeah. You go big time in in, the, in these video games. But before before we wrap up, and we do need to wrap up pretty soon, um, I wanted to bring up representation in video games. Yes, because mm-hmm. um, there's a higher demogra- like a higher um, percentage of black people play video games as opposed to white people, um, but. Th- there isn't um, 
a, gr a great representation of black people in video games. Most characters, you know, are white because, um, you know, most of the, the producers of these video games are white people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, even, like, on the only places, and I, speaking from experience, like, this is something that's frustrating because even, even when you have, like, customization in video games, a lot of times they, um, they don't have your skin tone mm -hmm. or... You know, for me, they wouldn't have locks, so you have to go with like braids if they have yeah. it or that type of thing. <laughs> or they wouldn't and even they wouldn't even bad. have a low a low cut. No, yeah, yeah, they yeah, have they that army like, buzz I mean, cut. Yeah, the they don't have curly or you know <coughs> wavy hair, hair, whatever you want to call it. Where Thick hair, I'll like they don't wouldn't have those options in certain iterations of games, at all. Or you know, you have a choice of one black nose. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. And when you when you choose the black person, their lips are extra big sometimes. But oh this was a few God. years ago, you know. Yeah. Uh, times have gotten a lot better. Well, two K gate option put you on picture of there. So. You know, yes. take a picture of yourself. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. Yeah. But that's so they can but have your face put. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's but next time. Next time. Sorry. Cons conspiracy, Con but cons but sports <laughs> sports how um <laughs> has been like the kind of like headway in when it comes to that you know because mm -hmm. yep. they're they're the first ones that uh, you gotta represent them exactly yeah, 80 exactly. percent of the people uh, in the game yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. fifa was the first game i saw where you could um pick dreads for a character well that would make sense too. yeah yeah but to shed some light even like you know or video games doing you know half-ass efforts of in the future like the last battlefield where like the black it's a black character on the cover but i didn't realize that it's just like different missions or different areas oh the they made it seem and like, like one mission i played with a black dude and i died like very quickly it was just a part of the mission you're just supposed to die and then everyone else was white and i'm like come on man you know how many black soldiers were in world war ii mm. like wow y'all put him on the cover and i don't see him throughout most of the game. i didn't finish the game so let me not say that but I guess that's another thing. It's like there's a shooting in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it's it's to shut you up. And that's the most popular shooting franchise right now. Mm -hmm. Over Call of Duty? Oh yeah, they they oh. they sort of surpassed Call of Duty. Why well, didn't Duty know? Came, went a little too out of space. Yeah, it started getting crazy. Cartoony and um, yeah, and then Battlefield came in with the realness and the <laughs> extra yeah with the realness. Nah, they did, <laughs> and they had humongous um, battlefields. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like you can play with like forty. People or more, I think, on mm -hmm. the battlefield. But I heard Rainbow Six is on the move now. It's but coming back. Rainbow I Six had a little stint back week. then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I, I saw somebody playing it um, the other day, and it's really like, like the, the those game those games are intense. Like yeah. there's no like respawn and stuff like that. It's just like true. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Honestly, they're life. pretty tactical too, though. Like yeah. you got like yeah. five yeah. different kinds anything of grenades Tom and whatnot. Can't. So Tom Any, Clancy. Anything Tom Clancy. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, I haven't liked a first-person shooter since, like, GoldenEye and Duke Nukem and shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, yeah. I just fell off from first-persons. Mm -hmm. I was spoiled by Metal Gear Solid because it was open, not really open world, but it was way more open than it was first-person. It, it was kind of open world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I had a... Um, RPG, that's what they call it, sorry. It's RPG. It, more I than an open so. world. I love it. I heavily dislike RPG. Nah, it, would you call it Metal Gear Solid RPG? I don't no, think so. No. no. Final Fantasy is an RPG. RPG. Yeah. Yeah. It has RPG. Kingdom Hearts, that's RPG. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it, in terms of like um, interchangeable like equipment and stuff, it mm -hmm. has that, but I, don't, I wouldn't say. You're not growing stats. You're not yeah. changing It's just that. action yeah, adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a live action. It's an action yeah. game, but RPGs are usually more story detailed towards the story. And True. And like decision Final making Fantasy. And decision mm. making. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which I. Probably why I never played Final Fantasy. Nah, I never played one. Never played. Oh, I love I love the Final Fantasy <laughs> games. So There's like seventy eight of them, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they come out with a lot of them. I, I haven't kept kept up, but I used to, I've I've loved them. Like, but my favorite one was seven. On the PS one. Yeah. Oh, those, they make some <laughs> of the best games, man. Everybody yeah. remembers the cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. standing there with. with yeah. 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 The three discs. You know, three yeah. discs, yeah, yeah it was like right. a triple word, disc. Game word, you get to a certain point, all of a sudden they're like, switch this, and you're like, yes, I'm on the second, you know, and then, <laughs> yeah. and then you lend your homeboy the first disc, you know, while you playing the second disc and shit, like, damn, that's how, <laughs> that's how video, that's how video game collections get scattered and lost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you said I could lend it. Word. But um, oh, speaking of representation, I wanted to bring this up. <laughs> um, the 
I haven't gotten it yet. Um, it came out a, a little bit ago. Um, the new Assassin's Creed um, is based out in, in ancient Egypt. I thought it always was. They white? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a dark skin character. They're dark Thank skin you. characters. Okay. And, I, I, and I saw that and I was like, yo. Dark skin? I need to get, I need to get this skin. game. Yeah, dark skin. You know. All right. You know, and I was like, yo. And, and even besides that, you know, I've, I've been hearing good things about the game. So I look forward to getting that. But, you know, Shout out to Assassin's Creed. Word. <laughs> but before we go, don't even, no, no long explanation before we wrap up. Favorite video game of all time. If you all had to choose time. one. Oh, snap. That's Come good on. to me. You can't do that. I, you can't do that, man. I have too all right. many. I I never, favorite I franchise. I give you top five franchises. G- give me a favorite <laughs> franchise. I don't know. FIFA. Shit. I'm just going to say that just to... Yeah, mm-hmm. FIFA. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Uncharted. I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have too many. I, like, there's no one. I, but right. I'll enjoy Uncharted. And I love the. Th- I still go back and play the Tony Hawk games. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah, those are fun. Yes, and, yeah, Tony Hawk games were fun. Yeah, I love driving simulators, but mainly Gran Turismo. So okay. those are my three main majors. Um, I would definitely say FIFA, but a game that I've always wanted to go back and beat is Mega Man Legends. I Ooh. knew you're gonna say that. He always Ooh. says Mega yeah. Man Legends. Yeah, because it's true. So if you guys ever, if you have a copy. Or you see a copy of Mega Man Legends 2 that's not a million dollars online. Get it for Sir Black Stanley's birthday. Ex- exactly. Are they really running a million dollars? Bro, it's like, I, I wow. saw it online for like a, a good a hundred and something dollars. Because it's like, yeah, it's, it's rare, I guess. Reese. But me, it's it's a three-way tie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sonic, mm. Metal Gear Solid, and Madden. Okay. I could, yeah. I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Adventures right. of Sports, that's about it. But right. um basically in the, in the in the name of Mr. Sir Black Stallion the third, I think that's a podcast. Uh-huh. It, it most certainly is. Yes. yes. Give me the Thank you for rocking with us another week. And um if you didn't hear last time, we did switch our format, so look out for us on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We tweet in eleven to six, four PM Eastern, five PM Pacific. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday is our new release for our episode so look out for that and once again thank you for rocking with us or you know shout out to Taj Raw Studios once more or and who and who is that over there exactly. oh me yes <laughs> they call me dramatic aka skip beardless ah for mm. the time being for the time <laughs> being and this is Flock Azul aka Sir Black Stein the third aka let me go over there Pablo Escovich as well and it's your boy Black Dynamite, aka Fluffy Jumps, aka uh, Swiss Army Nick. What does that even mean? Hold up, hold up, hold up. You gotta look up the origin. Swiss Army, Army Nigga. Uh, I'm back, y'all. Swiss Army I'm Nigga. back, y'all. <laughs> all right, all right, we got, back. Yeah, we got it. We got the podcast. It's your boy David Bomai, aka Debo A Bite, aka Sirocco Obama 23, aka Black Yoshi. Hey. The place to be. Come <laughs> holler at your boy, the Mario Kart. Get that ass whoop. Hey. Oh yeah, TBSG Mario Kart um tournament. The winner gets a T-shirt. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, Might just be y'all. a white T-shirt. <laughs> hey, we next episode, episode, so just a white tee from the corner store. And yeah. if it's not your size, you enter the contest. Nobody forced you. It's Go a ahead. free T-shirt. Stop complaining, bro. <laughs> if it's too big, you can use it as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Well, we'll see y'all next week. I'll be next episode. Peace. Peace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>